Hello everyone, this is a demonstration of the Oshing KGUV8D's crossband repeater functions. In front of us is our KGUV8D. We will turn it on. Frequency mode. So right now, the unit is in frequency mode. The top frequency will serve as the master frequency as indicated by the main icon here and then the bottom frequency will serve as the secondary frequency. So you can see the top frequency is dialed into our UHF band operating frequency which is 462.700 and uh, the bottom frequency is dialed into 142.300 serving as our VHF band operating frequency that we are going to use for this demonstration purposes. Okay, so we will get this manual off the way first. Okay, so the kguv 8 has two repeater settings available. So we have XDIRPT, or the so-called directional crossband repeater mode, and XTWRPT, or the so-called two-way crossband repeater mode. Uh, the repeater settings can be accessed using menu 37. Okay, as you can see, we have XDWRPT and then XDIRPT. So for XDIRPT, the X in XDIRPT mode or directional crossband repeater mode, the master frequency. The master VFO's receiving frequency, I mean, is the crossband receiver's receiving frequency. And the secondary or the sub VFO's transmitting frequency is the crossband repeater's transmitter's transmitting frequency. Okay? So, in directional crossband repeater mode, the master frequency will serve as the receiver, and then the secondary frequency will serve as the transmitting frequency. So in this case, 462.700, since it's the master frequency, will be the receive, receive frequency, and this 142.300 will be the transmit frequency. Okay. Function While in two-way crossband repeater mode, or XTWRPT mode, okay, in standby mode, while the the unit is in standby mode. Both the master and the secondary VFOs are receivers, okay? And then whichever VFO receives an effective carrier wave signal, the other VFO will be the transmitter and start transmitting. The transmitter and receiver is unfixed under two-way crossband repeater mode. The first received VFO is receiver and relatively the other one functions as the transmitter. So what that means is that if while in standby mode this KGUVA D receives effective carrier wave signal on the secondary a frequency, secondary VFO, then the secondary VFO will be the receiver and then the transmitter will be the uh, the uh, master frequency. So in this case for six two decimal 700 so receives in 142 transmits in 462 decimal 700 but on the other hand if this kg uv80 receives a signal an effective carrier wave signal from the main or the master frequency then the master frequency will be the receiver frequency and the secondary frequency will be the transmitter frequency so in two-way crossband repeater mode, the transceiver or the transmitter and the receiver is unfixed. So it, both VFOs can function as a receiver or transmitter. Okay. So let's check if what repeater mode setting this KGUV80 is in right now. So again, it's menu 3.7. Menu again to enter selection, 
and then, then from this selection you could use this knob to select there are only two options really it's XDIRPT or TWRPT okay so so let's uh, demonstrate XDIRPT first so if since you will choose this option then you have to press menu again to confirm okay and then exit okay now to uh, activate repeater functionality here what we do is press and hold this RPT button until you see the crossband repeater icon at the top left portion of the screen that one okay now the unit is in directional crossband repeater mode To demonstrate this directional crossband repeater mode, we will be using some demo units. So I have here a Baofeng UV5R. Okay, turn it on. Frequency mode. So it's in frequency mode. So it is dialed in to 142.300. And then another demo unit, a Motorola EM1000R. Uh, dialed into channel 21 CTCSS off so it's 21 zero okay so as mentioned earlier in directional crossband repeater mode the master frequency will serve as the receiver receiving frequency and the secondary VFO secondary frequency will serve as the transmitter frequency so since it's directional it will only go from so in this case uhf to vhf okay so let's check it uhf okay okay it's uhf and to vhf okay as you can see it's receiving okay let's turn down the volume a bit Now, if we try to transmit from the VHF radio to the UHF radio, there will be no crossband repeating because this is in directional crossband repeater mode. It's only from what? From UHF to VHF. Okay, so VHF to UHF will not function. Now, we activate the two-way crossband repeater mode. So again, we go into our menu. Function select. So let's deactivate the crossband repeater function first. We have to hold on the RPT button. Okay, until the crossband repeater icon goes away and then we do menu 37 once again and then menu to enter selection and then then feed from this selection we choose what XTWRPT which corresponds to two-way crossband repeater mode and then menu again to confirm selection then exit and then activate the crossband repeater function using the RPT button press and hold until you see the icon there and this time we can do okay go from UHF to VHF and also from VHF to UHF Okay, so let's activate the Roger tone here. This is menu 39. Okay, so you can see. Okay. okay. And then 
from UHF to VHF. So that's it. That's two-way crossband repeater mode. So once again, to uh, disable or to turn off crossband repeater function on the KGUV 8D, you have to press and hold the RPT button until the icon goes away and the unit is now in normal transceiver communication mode. See? Okay, so that's it. I hope that helps. Thanks a lot for watching. Kind regards from the Philippines.